All right, now it is time to test our login API. So make sure you've restarted the server and then head to Postman. First, we select the request method. Login is a post request. Then we enter the URL. Localhost port 3000 slash API slash login. This is our API endpoint. Next, let's set the content type. So click on the headers tab and then the key is going to be content type and then the value is going to be application slash JSON. Next, in the body tab, select raw format and over here, we are going to create a JSON object of the user. Now, there are three cases for testing user login. First is the invalid email scenario. So I'm going to create a user with an email that doesn't exist in our database. So the email is going to be b at b.com and the password I'm going to go with a. Now when I click on send request and scroll down to the bottom, you can see that we get a 401 unauthorized status with a message invalid email. And we can trace this in our code. So first we are going to try to find a user whose email ID matches that of the user that we are passing. If there was no user found, we are saying that it's an invalid email. And that is exactly what we are seeing here in Postman. So that works perfectly fine. Now for the second scenario, I'm going to enter a registered email, but with an invalid password. So we do have a user with the email address a at a.com registered, but this time I'm going to change the password to an invalid password B. A is the original password matching this email address, but I am changing it to B. So now when I click on send and when I scroll down to the bottom, you can see that 401 unauthorized with invalid password. So in our code, what happens is it in fact finds an email address with the user email address that we have passed. So this condition doesn't get executed. Next, it checks if the passwords match. So the user password in the database is the letter A, but we are passing the password letter B. So the two passwords do not match and we get back the response 401 with the message invalid password. So the second scenario works as well. Now for our final scenario, let's try with valid credentials, matching email and password. So I'm going to change the password to A and then I'm going to click on the send button. So if you navigate to the bottom, you can see status 200 OK and then the details of that particular user. So email is a at a.com and then the password is a. So the login API works perfectly fine. Now, what exactly do we mean by logging in a user? We will come to that when we are working with our Angular application. But for now, a login API works as expected. Next, let's create an API to get regular and special events.